Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So we are going to start a new series on RabbitMQ integration with a Spring Boot application. Okay, so I'm just going to give you an overview of this series. So let me try to go to the next slide and show you. So what all things we are going to do in this series is we are going to install the RabbitMQ on the Windows machine. Uh, we need to do some additional installation like ERLang for the RabbitMQ connection so we'll do that as well we'll discuss the basic architecture of the rabbit mq we'll try to practically create the exchange and the queue you come to know when we are going to discuss about the architecture of the rabbit mq you come to know about the terms like exchange and the queue we'll try to publish and the consume messages as well uh, through the exchange and the queue and then we'll try to create a spring boot application and do the necessary configuration to connect with the rabbit mq and then we'll develop the producer and consumer and then we'll try to see how we can publish and consume the messages through the spring boot application so everything we are going to discuss in this course so as of now let me try to uh, give you the overview what we have what we are going to develop as of now i already have developed these things but i will try to explain you what things we are going to do okay so here i have developed this spring boot application we did uh, uh, like we have created a couple of producer class and the consumer as well and these are the configuration related to the rabbit mq uh, i have declared the queue as a rabbit mq queue exchange is something like rmq exchange routing key is rmq routing key so these are the uh, configuration related to the rabbit mq in our spring boot application queue exchange and the routing key okay I made this application up and I have also developed the producer you can see come here to the order producer and you can see this is the API and in the in this API we are sending some request right this is the post API so we are sending the or the client is giving the order and then this order is being going to the uh, rabbit MQ exchange and then the queue and then from there it is going to the consumer okay so the producer is going to produce the order request then it will go to the rabbit mq exchange and queue and then it will go to the consumer so those things we are going to discuss in this course so this application is up let me try to show you how uh, we can send the request and then how it will go to the exchange and the queue in the rabbit mq okay so i already have installed the rabbit mq and it is up locally and you can see this is up on the port number 15672 and these are our exchange and the queue as of now okay and we have declared this uh, queue exchange and the routing key which is not there in our rabbit mq as of now so our application is up now let me try to hit this producer api which is odd api order and try to send the order request and then we'll see what is happening inside our rabbit mq so here one exchange will be created and that exchange will be mapped to the or bind to the queue which will be created here and then in the queue we can go and then see the messages that we are going to send so going to the postman here you can see this is the api and these are the request body that we have created as of now let me try to send it and you can see uh, the order request is placed and now coming to the rabbit mq here you can see our exchange is created which we have defined here in the configuration you can see rmq exchange right so it is created here now if you'll go inside this uh, you can see if you'll go inside the binding you can see it is binding binded uh, with the routing key rmq routing key which is defined in our a spring boot application and this is the queue name that we have defined right so coming to the queue you can see one queue has created rabbit mq queue now if you'll go inside the queue you can see here as well that your queue is binded with the uh, uh, routing key rmq routing key and it is binded with the exchange with this routing key right now if you'll go inside go down you can see this get message inside the get messages if you'll click on it you can see this is the message that we are sending this is the request that we are sending from the postman so you can come here and cross verify it we are sending this uh, id this is this is the order request id is 101 
name is this quantity is this price is this now if you'll go to the rabbit mq you can see those things here as well okay and these are some additional things that we have appended so this is what we are going to cover we'll try to give you brief explanation of everything related to the rabbit mq integration with the spring boot okay so this is about the video guys uh, in the coming video i will try to uh, show you how you can install it on the windows machine how you can do the basic configuration and then we'll cover the architecture we'll try to create the exchange in the queue then we'll uh, create the spring boot application so let's get started for it if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks